So now that you know how to do simultaneous equations, solving them graphically, solving them su by substitution, solving them by elimination, uh, we can start doing problem solving or word problems. Uh, th these can look a little bit scary and you're not really sure how to start, uh, but if we go through it step by step, uh, you'll find it much, much simpler. So let's just jump straight into a word problem and see how we go. So here's our word problem. Five oranges and 14 bananas cost $1.30 and eight oranges and nine bananas cost $1.41. Find the cost of each orange and each banana. All right, so uh, I'm gonna take it through step by step. First step is uh, identify the unknowns. The things you don't know but want to know. So it says find the cost of each orange and each banana. So find the cost of the orange and find the cost of a banana. So our two unknowns, when I identify my unknowns, it's going to be B for banana. And I'm not going to use the letter O for orange because that's going to be confusing. So I'm going to use the letter R for orange. But when I identify my unknowns, I'm not just going to say B for banana. I'm going to say B for number not number of, I'm going to say B for cost of banana. And this is the real problem here. If you just write B, you don't know whether it's the cost of the banana or the number of bananas or the size of the bananas or whatever it might be. So be careful when you write the letter B, say it's for the cost of the banana. And the letter R is going to be the cost of the orange. So that was step one identify the unknowns. Step two here is going to be to create two equations linking B and R, or linking the unknowns. So now we need to look at our question and create those two equations. Five oranges and 14 bananas cost $1.30. So that means that five times the cost of the oranges, so five R, five times the cost of orange, because that's what R stands for, plus 14 times the cost of bananas is equal to $1.30, 1.30. The second one says, so that was the first bit here, that's where I got my first equation from. My second equation is going to come from this next bit. Eight oranges and nine bananas cost $1.41. So eight oranges plus nine bananas equals $1.41. That's really the whole game. Because you can see now that I've identified the unknowns, I've created two equations linking the unknowns. Now that I've created two equations linking the unknowns, I just need to solve them using simultaneous equations. So you can see these line up really nicely, 5R, 8R, 14B, 9B, $1.31, $1.41. It looks like using uh, elimination is going to be the way to go here. Uh, I'd have to multiply, say, this by... 8, I'd have to multiply this by 5, get the R's the same, subtract through, and move from there. I'm not going to do that in this video. You can pause it and do that if you like. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do another word problem. Solve simultaneously using elimination or substitution. I don't mind what you do there. Alright, like I said, I'm going to do another word problem. So here's my second word problem. I have a jar containing only 5 cent and 10 cent coins. So you've been collecting these coins, putting it in a jar. How many of each type, type of coin do I have if I had 20 coins all together and their total value is $1.65? So step one, what was step one again? Identify the unknowns. So what am I trying to find? How many of each type of coin? How many of each type of coin? So they're going to be my unknowns. So 5 cents coins, F for 5. F equals number of 5 cent coins. And 10 cent, T for number of 10 cent coins. 
Okay, so there's my unknowns. F for five cents, T for 10 cents. Uh, now, what's my second step? Create two equations linking the unknown. So where am I going to find my two equations? I have 20 coins all together. Okay, so if I add the number of 5 cent coins to the number of 10 cent coins all together, I'll have 20. So that means that F plus T equals 20. All right. Now I just need to find one more equation because I want to have two so I can solve them simultaneously. Their total value is $1.65. So that means, think about it for a moment, the number of 5 cent coins plus the number of 10 cent, or sorry, the number of 5 cent coins is F, the number of 10 cent coins is T. They, the dollar value is $1.65 and that's if I take the 5 cent coins and multiply them by 0 0.05 because each of them is worth 5 cents. So 0 0.05 times the, five, the number of 5 cent coins plus 0 0.1 times the number of 10 cent coins should equal $1.65. So what do I have here? Now I've got two equations, f plus t equals 20, and 0.05f plus 0.1t equals $1.65. Finally, solve it. I'm not going to go through solving it right now, but you can solve it using elimination, or you can solve it using substitution, whichever one you think is going to be easier to do it. Before I go, if you do want to try this yourself, I'll give you the answers so you can check your work. It turns out that the oranges cost 12 cents each, and the bananas cost 5 cents each. You can put 12 and 5 into this equation. If you do, you'll get $1.30, and if you put 12 and 5 into this equation, you'll get $1.41. That's how I know I'm right. And for this one down here, I have seven five cent coins, five cent coins, and I have 13 10 cent coins. And if you put seven and 13 into this equation, obviously you'll get 20. And if you put seven and 13 into this equation, you'll get $1.65. All right, so you can work through them, you can try them yourselves. But the real problem, the real important part of solving word problems is to be able to read them, identify the unknowns, and then create two equations linking those unknowns. Once you've done that, the rest is basic simultaneous equations.